Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something super important for your online security, two-factor authentication or as you might have heard it called 2FA. If you are ever wondered about your accounts getting hacked or if you are unsure what 2FA and how to use it, this video is for you. So stick around till the end and by the end of this video you will know what's 2FA, what it is, what it does how to set it up and backup codes by the end of this video. Let's get started. So what exactly is two-factor authentication? Think of it like when you log into your account, you typically just enter your password. But what if someone else knows your password? That's where 2FA comes in. Well, two-factor authentication adds a second step to the login process. So after entering your password, you'll need to verify your identity using something else, usually your phone or an application. The idea here is that even if somebody steals your password, they won't be able to get in without that second factor. So basically, it's like having two locks on the door. The first lock is your password and it's something you know, but the second lock is something that you have like your phone or something that you are like your fingerprint. This makes it much harder for attackers to break in. Now let's talk about why you absolutely need to use 2FA. Raise your hand if you have ever reused the same passwords for multiple accounts. It's okay, I won't judge. We have all done it, but here's the problem. If a hacker gets a hold of your password, they can access everything. This is where the 2FA can save you. Even if your password gets compromised, the hacker still won't be able to log into your password without that second layer of protection. It's like having a security guard checking ID after someone picks the lock. And it's just not social media for email. 2FA is especially important for things like your bank account, your online shopping sites and even your work account. If you use the same password for everything, 2FA becomes a must to keep your account secure, right? So what kinds of 2FA are there? You actually have a few different options depending on what the platform or service supports. Number 1. SMS Codes you're probably familiar with this one. When you log in, the service sends a text message to your phone with a code. You enter that code and you're good to go. This method is easy to use but it's not the most secure. If someone has access to your phone or SIM card, they could interrupt those codes. Second, authentication apps. Next up is authentication apps like Google Authenticator, Authy or Microsoft Authenticator. These applications generate time-based codes that refresh every 30 seconds. Unlike SMS codes, they don't rely on your phone number, making them much secure. So if you're looking for a secure and easy to use option, I highly recommend using an authentication application. Third, biometrics. And finally, some services that let you use biometrics, things like your fingerprint, face scan, or even retina scan, as your second factor of authentication. This is usually the fastest and most secure option. While SMS to related codes are convenient, I recommend using an authentication application or biometrics if possible. They offer stronger security and are much harder to hack. All right, now let's walk through how to set up 2FA. It's actually really simple and I'll show you how to do it on Google. First, go ahead and log in to your account and head over to security settings. Most platforms will have an option called 2FA or two-factor authentication or two-step verification. Okay. Second would be to click on the option and follow the prompts. You'll be asked to choose your second factor authentication, whether it's a phone number, SMS codes, an authentication app or biometrics, can be anything. And next step, the last step, last step three is once you have set it up, you'll receive a test code to request or confirm your identity. After that, you're all set. Here's a pro tip. When you set up a 2FA, many platforms will offer backup codes these are important store them somewhere safe preferably offline if you lose access to your phone or authenticator app these codes will help you log in 
Now let's talk about something important. What happens if you switch phones? If you don't back up your authentication application, you could lose access to your two-factor authentication codes and getting back into your accounts can be a headache. Trust me, I've been there. So here's how to make sure you don't get locked out. If you're using Google Authenticator, here's how you transfer your accounts to your new phone. First step, on your old phone, open Google Authenticator. Second step, go to settings and tap on export accounts. This will generate a QR code. And third step, now on your new phone, install the Google Authenticator app and scan the QR code to transfer all your accounts. And if you're using Authy, it's even easier. Just enable multi-device support in the settings and when you install Authy on your new phone, all your codes will sync automatically. Isn't that simple? And if your Authenticator application doesn't support backups or transfers, you'll need to manually disable and re-enable 2FA for each account. Yes, it's a piece of you know extra work, but it's worth to keep your accounts secure, right? So there you have it, two-factor authentication is one of the best ways to keep your online accounts safe from hackers, whether you're using SMS codes or an authentication app. Hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments what else would you like to see. Until next time, bye now.